Ron, but thank you for coming in. Pleasure. Thank you so much. My grandfather, uh, Marcello, came uh, to this country in 1890. He didn't leave out of destitution, they left, he left to seek his fortune. This country at the time was in the middle of the Industrial Revolution, sucking people in from all over the world. Um, I think when he came to London and uh, uh, said he was a blacksmith, he said, why don't you go to Wales, uh, you'll find plenty of work because horses in the mines. How they got in, him and his uh, fellow Italians got into uh, businesses is a bit of a mystery because working 12 hours a day, six days a week in the mines. But um, he was quite successful and started a mini empire, produced uh, nine children, um, one of which was my father. My father was the eldest. And um, he had started businesses in South Wales. Uh, there was, uh, you know, you hear stories of a pub on every corner, a chapel on every corner, but if you, um, if you were one of the uh, non-conformist, the teetotal, uh, where would you go to socialise? So the Italian cafes came to the place, they were serving coffees and ice cream, and uh, I think that, in a nutshell, was the market they tapped into. He was bringing people in from Italy to, to help him all the time, bringing relatives in, and, uh, and that's why we've got this very strong link with a small town in northern Italy called Bardi, uh, where the vast majority of the Welsh Italians all have roots. The cafe was, was always packed. I think the community just got used to it. You had strange things like um, what was quite common with a lot of the miners was drinking tea out of a saucer. It sounds ridiculous now, but whether it was just to cool the tea, but <laughs> it was. It wasn't as uncommon as you think. That was, that was one thing that I remember. On a Sunday, I remember Sunday evening was a totally different environment. It was all young people walking around town and ending up in one of the Italian cafes. And um, this room that we're in now would have been packed with uh, all young people. And uh, I think the, the Italian community are models of integration, really. You know, uh, next generation was settled here, and I'm now third generation and fully integrated. And out of those 400 odd cafes, I think there are two or three left now. And this being one of them, it's still in the hands of uh, the family. You know. What like happened when World War II broke out? Well, overnight, uh, when Mussolini declared war uh, on uh, this country, overnight the Italians became enemy aliens. It's, it's understandable, there was paranoia during the war. They thought um, that uh, Hitler was going to invade, and the Italians, they thought they were organised and they were going to rise up. Well, they weren't, of course. My father uh, was in turn, and, uh, but he was let out after six months because they they weeded them out and he, um, he bought a farm in Redwick in, outside Newport and next thing you know he was looking after Italian prisoners of war on the farm. Sort of crazy things that happened in the war. Women he's locked up and then he's looking after Italian prisoners of war. And it's, uh, uh, um, but they were tough times because like my maternal grandfather was also interned. The idea was to send them to the internment camp and then shipping them off to the colonies, Canada and Australia. And one of the uh, ships, the Arundora Star, which uh, was on its way to Canada, had about 1,200 internees on board. It was sunk by a, a German torpedo boat. Uh, lots of Italians lost their lives, including my grandfather. Um, sad times because the businesses were commandeered. The business, a lot of the Italians who had businesses lost their businesses. When my parents were interned, um, they, they lost it and they, they did get it back, but only through a court case. They had to go to court to get it back. It's easy to gloss over it, but um, very sad, troubled times. Do you feel like this idea of, like you said, the integration is now like disappeared, is more dispersed? The link to Italian cafes, I think, uh, would be long gone. I'm sure you can see the coffee shops haven't gone, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm proud of the uh, Italian integration. It's a model of integration, I think, you know. Because immigration, you know, let's face it, it's happened forever and a day, and it's still, and it's still happening, and it's still problematic. But uh, the Italian uh, history and, uh, in South Wales has been, uh, has been a happy one.